DJ Hess here bringing you guys a video to show you guys how to live stream with a Mac uh, on Twitch TV. And I'm doing this video for a couple reasons. Uh, for one, I just started streaming on Twitch TV myself. If you guys want to check the description, you can find my uh, Twitch account and follow me. Um, I do a lot of Call of Duty games and, and uh, other things like that. But the other reason why I want to do this is because the other tutorials that are out there are a little bit outdated now because there's you know changes in, in uh, the applications, different versions, and so on. So hopefully you guys will find this video helpful. Um, and uh, let's get into it. So the very first and foremost thing that you will want to know about this is um, there's obviously two components of of setting up a live stream. There's the audio and the video uh, portion. Um, and so I'm going to go through the applications with you from left to right. The first one that you need to buy, if you don't already have this, I'm assuming you do if, if you have an HD PVR, is ITV for Macs. Um, when you have an HD PVR, it doesn't come with software for a Mac. You have to buy it. It's, it's again called ITV and it's the best software out there. It's very easy. Uh, just one click of the button and, and it records and, and it's a great so uh, piece of software. The next thing you need, and I think that, again, $80 and that's the most expensive thing you need for this. Um, Cam Twist and then Flash Media Live Encoder. Both of those are free. I'll put the link in the description for where you can download these. Uh, you can just type them in into Google as well and then, then download these versions for Mac as well. So it's, it's fairly easy to install. Um, and then the next thing you'll need is Line In. This is a free application as well. Now I know that there's some other sites out there that say you can uh, use some other, I can't even remember the name of the of the audio hijacks maybe, I can't remember. But you don't need any of that. You don't need to pay any extra money uh, for the audio part. So this part, the Flash Media, um, excuse me, so I guess Cam Twist and ITV are for the video portion. The Flash Media pulls everything together. And the line in and Soundflower Bed, which is the last application. I'm sorry, my thing keeps going up and down. Uh, the Soundflower Bed is the other one that you're going to need. Uh, so between Soundflower Bed and, and then line in, and you need two instances of the line in. Uh, this was something that wasn't covered very clearly, but uh, you really do need two. And, and in order to have two of them, I think you just need to, when you download it, just drag and drop two of them into your in, into your bar here. You can't open one of them and then create a second instance from that one you created. So you just drag and drop the download. I, I usually drop them in my bank right here and it makes it easy to load. Um, you're going to want to open things in a specific order. So I'm going to go ahead and start it out opening the ITV first. And um, and I'm having it on mute right here as you can see because um, let me see my controller is on there. It's a little dim now. Um, I have it on mute because uh, I don't want the game volume to show, but that was the other thing that was not very clear. Um, and again, I'm trying to just get this stupid thing to play nice here. Uh, that was the other thing that was not very clear is the audio portion. You need to have a, like a headphone jack into your headphone slot for your MacBook if you want this to work right, because otherwise, it's uh, if you if you're familiar with an HD PVR, it plays back the audio from here and then. Like if I turn up my audio on my MacBook, you'll hear the echo of the game in the backdrop. So this is delayed by like five seconds or whatever. So you're going to hear everything five seconds delayed uh, on this because you need to have your volume up on your com computer in order to be able to live stream and have other people hear your game volume. So to clarify, you need just a regular pair of headphones to plug into your headphone jack on your MacBook or your, uh, your Mac computer. That way it plays the sound volume from the game that you hear that you would be hearing on this ITV. Um, so now that you guys kind of have that down, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open the next uh, piece of software. I'm going to go ahead and open Cam Twist, and this is again setting the video. So you're going to go here to the desktop area and you go to Desktop Plus, double click that, and I'm not going to add any effects, which is step two. Um, step three is adjust the settings, so I'm going to go ahead and um, go over to the settings on this side, and it's this screen. I don't want full screen. I want um, confined to the, the application window, which in this case, I'm going to select ITV as the application. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and then you need to go hit, hit the select capture area. You can see it pops up a little capture area around the ITV, but I'm going to go ahead and shorten it because I don't want the title bar in um, this as well. So now that I have that, I'm going to hit done selecting. And that's pretty much all you have to do with Cam Twist. Uh, for the bare essentials. Now, I don't know how to stream with this, with uh, my picture in the corner. I need to figure that out still. So if somebody has a tutorial on that, um, you know, let me know because I need that aspect as well. 
um, hopefully I'll have an updated version of this uh, video that has that in it um, shortly. Um, before I open Flash Media Live Encoder, I'm going to go ahead and open my uh, my line ends and show you guys what uh, what's going on with these. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'll, I guess I'll just leave this up here for now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open my line ends. Now, again, there's two instances of the line ends that I open because you need two of them um, to make this work correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and something I also would recommend is because I have a problem with memorizing everything, I have a, a screenshot right here of my Twitch uh, TV settings. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up and I'm going to show you a couple of things. So the first thing, um, I'm going to go hit the, the pass through button right here on the top one and then I'm going to select uh, and then as you can see the top one already here ha has 16 and, and of course it doesn't matter which is on top you can move them around but 16 and 2 so that one's fine this one says 16 and 2 as well but I actually need this to say uh, the G GN2000 Cisco and that is my headset if you have a different headset you need to select um, the line in for your headset and then you can see the channel output is Soundflower 2 so I'm going to go ahead and hit the pass through for there and you can see instantly when I hit the pass through you can see on the, on the left hand side right here the volume this is my voice volume going up and down. Then this side right here, I believe, is the game volume that, that is uh, being mixed in. So you can see both of them being mixed in. Uh, and again, that's with Soundflower Bed. Now, there's some confusing things. If you launch Soundflower Bed, it should pop up in the upper right-hand corner up here. And you can see that there's some options right here uh, to select different inputs and outputs and all this other stuff. My, my thought is this. Just leave that alone completely. Don't even mess with this. Um, I quit it and just leave it leave it alone because honestly I've had a lot of problems with it and this is the the easiest thing that I've found so uh, the last thing you need to make sure is go to your system preferences and go to your sound and make sure for your output sound flower bed uh, 2 is selected and or excuse me for the input sorry the output should just be your headphone port which is the noise that that again is from coming from the ITV should be X X going out excuse me to your uh, your headphones so confusing to try to explain all this but um but that is pretty much it once you have that set then and and again take a screenshot of it because it's important that you have these settings um, you'll have to probably mess with them from time to time I'm not really sure um, but uh, but it's important to have these set so you don't have to like mess around with it as much as I had I've had to do like a bunch of test streams to get everything up and running but um, but that's pretty much all of the applications you need right there now you launch the Flash Media Live Encoder, and this is the thing that puts everything together. Um, so first, a couple things to note. There is, I have mine already set up. You can use my settings, uh, my formats, as you can see on the screen, or you can choose your own that is, um, like, I guess that works for you. I, I went to custom instead of just a regular one there. Video device is Cam Twist, which is the one we obviously already messed with. Um, instead of FaceTime, it's Cam Twist. And then the format, I always use this format, the H264, and then the frame rate, I have it three, at 30 um, frames per second. Input size is low as of right now because I don't, I'm not partnered with Twitch. Uh, you can use a higher uh, input size, I guess, if, uh, if, you're, if you're not partnered. I'm not really sure how that works. Um, and then the bit rate and uh, the output size is here. Now this is for the video portion. For the audio, you want to select Soundflower uh, 2 channel. And, uh, and then just leave these as is. So, so just so you know, if I select internal mic or if I select this one, it's not going to pick up both uh, game volumes because with, um, with live streaming, it's kind of confusing. The, audio, or the video part's really easy. The audio part's difficult because you have my game volume uh, from, from my, my screen along with the people that I'm chatting in my maybe my chat party or whatever. And then if I'm trying to talk to the party and try to talk to the people on my live stream, on Twitch, um, I need a microphone for both of those. Or, or in, in the case of, of like an Astro uh, A40, I believe you can have both of those already mixed together. So right now, currently, I don't have those headphones, and I have to use two different headphones: just the the Xbox Live uh, headphone, and then also a microphone that I plug in, which is the the GN2000. Um, I use the microphone, and uh, and if you don't have the Soundflyer thing set up right, you can hear the microphone volume. But you can't hear the game volume, or you can hear just the game volume, and you can't hear the microphone volume. So that's the point of the two channels and, and the sound flyer and the settings. And my recommendations is, again, sorry about that. Uh, my recommendation again is to use these settings as as is. And let me know if you guys have problems with these. These are what have been working for me, and that's pretty much it. So all you have to do, and the other thing is, I guess the other last part to uh, set this up, you need to go 
and go to the Justin TV um, app part or whatever it is. I'll, I'll leave the link in the description for the link to this as well. And then you need to get your personal uh, stream code. And this is mine, and I'm not going to show you the rest of it so you can copy it. Uh, but there's other other uh, like line items on there. But you need to have, obviously, a Justin a TV account first. Then you'll go to the link in the description. It will take you to the Justin TV um, thing, and you'll be able to see your stream code. Copy and paste that into here, and you can test it. And uh, I set all that up, and I and you hit start, and it will actually start live streaming um, for everybody else to see on, on Justin TV. So hopefully this was informative for you guys. I don't want to hit the button now because I don't want to show people on live streaming, which is another thing I didn't know. Once you have followers on Twitch, um, they actually can see when you're live streaming, which I didn't really realize that. And so I was doing some tests, and I, all of a sudden I see some people popping up and and seeing that I'm live streaming and stuff. So you can see I only have 217 people that are following me, I guess, on uh, on Twitch. And then if you guys didn't know, I think that's what this is, the following. And then on the lower left-hand corner, the 2,670, whatever, that's the amount of people that have watched my total streams total. So I'm definitely very new at this. I've only streamed, I think, two or three times, um, and or I think two times, and then one time was a fail. Uh, because I need to get things uh, set up. But hopefully you guys, again, found this informative. If you guys uh, do like this video, and uh, hopefully if you have any questions, I can answer them. Uh, but again, this is just for those people that have a Max and, and were interested in trying to figure out how to live stream this. So have a good one, guys. And remember to plug in your headphone port uh, on, on your Mac, because otherwise the they're going to get a big, huge echo, and uh, and it's really, really confusing. Um, if you don't have that plugged in. But that was the, the, one of the key things that I found that um, was necessary. So uh, have a good one, guys, and we will catch you later. Thanks.